Can you tell if a gun is loaded by looking at it? Only if you handle it properly. No, no, the question's simple. If you look at a gun, can you tell if it has ammunition in it or not? I wouldn't pick it up, sir. That's not the question. Yes, it is. Listen, listen, please. Can you look at a gun and without touching it, can you tell me if it's loaded or not? No, absolutely okay, not. That's but the I answer. would not pick it up. Abs well, that's fine. Don't pick it up. Representative Feeble, had you done your research, you would have seen as chairman of the Criminal Justice Committee how concerned I am with crimes committed with firearms. You would also see how concerned I am about the safety of firearms that are used and their ability to be purchased and transferred. My answer to your question is, that is why throughout the state we're allowing the school districts and the schools to choose whether this is a course they would like in their schools. Let's wrap Homicides it up are up. My constituents are concerned about guns and the availability of guns. And the concerns that they have are introducing those guns into the school grounds. We have curriculum that lends itself to the future employment of students in many areas. From music to mechanics, in the shop classes, you learn about cars, motorcycles, in the art classes, you learn about different medium from mediums from clay to drawing to painting to graphic design. If there is a reason a school district decides that a firearm safety class with the history, science, and mathematics of firearms may lend itself to teaching a student about a potential for future employment, it's not a bad thing. What prevents a student from putting ammunition in their purse their pocket or their backpack and carrying it into the classroom where the gun is available. What prevents that in your bill? 